If you're a parent, then you know what it's like to try and travel with a small child. There's been moments where Catherine and I have made the unfortunate decision to try and fly with little children. So I think about last summer when Jake was about a year and a half old. And so we get on the plane and we get up in the air And at a point in the flight where we still had probably an hour and a half left, Jake gets up out of his seat and he's ready to get off the plane. Like he is communicating as best as he can to let us know, I'm over this. Like I'm done with this and let's get off the plane now. And so it becomes this this moment of trying to reason with a one and a half year old, which which isn't a thing. Like that doesn't work. It doesn't happen. Where I'm trying to explain to him, We can't get off the plane right now. But from his perspective, he doesn't understand why we can't just leave. Why this flight, which for him is is not pleasant, it's uncomfortable, why can't this flight just end now? But I guarantee you that the pilot and the captain of that flight had a different perspective. That pilot was able to see, even with all of the turbulence that we might have experienced on that flight, that pilot knew that the path we were on was by far the best path to our destination. See, a lot of times in life, there's going to be seasons of turbulence. There's going to be seasons. Some of y'all, y'all hear me talk about flying with kids, and you look around, you're surrounded by your kids right now, and your kids will be right next to you tomorrow morning, and then the next morning, and all day the next day, and you, there's a reason you don't homeschool your kids. And you're like, I get the turbulence of life right now. And there are times and seasons where, where we can just look from our limited perspective and say, I want this flight to end right now. Like, I'm ready to be done with this. God, I don't see why we don't just land the plane and be done with it. But we have to understand that our captain, our pilot, has us on the best path to get us to the destination. Even if we can't see it, even in the midst of all the discomfort and all the turbulence of life, he has us on the best path. He is chasing us and pursuing us with his goodness. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.